Welcome back 625 on your Wednesday morning. Ready or not, today is the first day of fall, which means flu season isn't far behind. People often argue the importance of a flu shot, debate whether to get one or not. Well, this morning we are going to help you make that decision. Joining me now is Sarah Kennedy, a staff pharmacist with IU Health, to talk about how to get a flu shot, who should get a flu shot, everything you need to know. Thanks for being here this morning. Thank you. So when is the best time to get a flu shot? The best time for the flu shot is whenever the flu shots become available and okay. they're available now. Okay. So first day of fall is a good time to go in, get your flu shot. It's a nice day today. Mm -hmm. um, also, it takes about two weeks for the flu shot to work for your body to be ready to fight okay. the flu. So the earlier, the better. Who should get one? Um, anybody can get a flu shot, even if you have a mild egg allergy. They used to say um, to stay away, but you yeah. can get the flu shot now. Okay. Um, so anybody six months and older should get the flu shot. And what about, we, there's the, the shot itself, there's the, the flu mist. How does that work? Who can get what? Um, anybody can get the flu shot, like I said, six months and older. Yep. Um, if you're between the ages of two and 49, you can get the flu mist. Okay. There are some... Uh, reasons in there like um, asthma and other mm -hmm. things that you wouldn't be able to get the flu mist. Um, but anybody between 2 and 49 can get the mist and anybody 6 months and older can get the shot. Okay, and you were saying we don't really know about the flu this year, um, how bad it might be or whatever just because it's not here yet. We haven't seen any cases, is that right? Yeah, as far as I know they haven't seen any cases around okay. the area of the flu this year. So what do you say to people, because we all we hear lots of people out there um, who say, you know what, I just don't need a flu shot. I've gotten one before and I ended up still getting the flu, um, it doesn't do anything for me so I'm not going to get one. How do you answer those people's concerns? Well, prevention is always the best medicine. You know, it's always best to prevent it instead mm -hmm. of getting the actual um, disease or the mm -hmm. flu. Uh, last year they misjudged the flu a little bit. Uh, they had some strains in there that didn't cover the whole flu season, mm -hmm. um, the stuff that was circulating. But in years past it's worked before, mm -hmm. uh, so we're always remain positive and like I said, it's always a good thing to be preventative. Okay. Sarah, thank you very much for being here. Thank you.